experience, which is 30 years. Um, I am all about saving you time. I like to show you why you should or shouldn't do certain things. And um, it's about makeup that you really use on daily basis without um, overdoing it like social media does. Well, uh, it's nice to start with an eyeshadow base and um, I like to mix waterproof eyeshadow base. You can use a waterproof um, concealer, but concealers tend to be a little heavy. So you can mix it with a base to dilute it a little bit or uh, simply use very little and um, make sure that you don't use anything that it's too, too pigmented. So I'm using a little bit of um, MAC long lasting eyeshadow primer and it doesn't have pigment so i'm gonna add a touch of concealer on top i picked up a very light formula by rms this is very very creamy and um, i like to moisturize my skin around my eyes at night a little more and during the day more on the bottom than on top so makeup really tends to last better that way and you can feel when you use a waterproof formula how quickly it dries. Fill in the inner corner, just go all the way up. I'm gonna also fill in my eyebrows. Um, they're just a little light and um, it kind of helps with the rest of the makeup when you have your eyebrows done. I like to extend my eyeliner, so I like to extend my eyebrow as well. And um, easy way to do your brows when they have like a little spots like mine, it's when you level your eyes with the eyebrows in the mirror, and just kind of lower your chin looking straight ahead. You'll see exactly where to put the color. I like to use, um, more than one product usually pencils are kind of easy to master and very very fast you have that in one of my other videos i'm just going to use a double ended um this is by mac it has a marker on one side it, um, a powder with a brush on the other side so i'm going to put a few little strokes and i also like to tilt it with the direction of the hair growth when i use that i see on videos people try to draw a line you know holding it straight like that it's very very hard you can use the full length of the brush as long as you angle it uh, a little bit the way it touches the skin just go on the spots on the top with a few little strokes in there you can always add more you don't have to do too much I'm using an extra mirror here just so I see better. And because my skin tends to be a little shiny, usually this is a shiny area uh, on most faces, I like to use the powder on top, so that's what it is on the other side. A little brush just to mattify it. Again, it's gonna create even more dimension. You can use a gel to keep them in place if you want. there are a lot of products and if you use a gel i tend to do um, the gel first and then fill in on the spots because the gel sets the hairs so you see where you have more spots in between so i want to keep it very very simple you can just do um, a little bit of mascara and be done I like to do, if you are using pencil because they're fast, I like to put the pencil before the eyeshadow, or you can use a waterproof pencil because you know it's gonna stay. Another thing is if you use one of those pencils with a smudger, you can just do very quickly, like a light layer, smudge it a little bit, and uh, this way you make it not only softer, but you can put a second layer and make it like a little longer lasting. What I like to do is just to put a little bit of pencil and put my uh, liquid eyeliner on top at the end of the, of the makeup session. So if you're doing layering of your pencil, you can mix the colors, you can mix waterproof um, pencil on top and use a wand that is just like a regular pencil on the bottom because they, they smudge a little easily. It all depends on the formula, but the idea of this, it's really to have um, like, intensity and density so the pigment stays on your eyes tend to um, move and blink a lot to get a little moist and uh, watery throughout the day so you really need something to to hold that in place and uh, putting an extra layer it always helps besides the um, the eyeshadow primer which could be uh, long lasting 
So I'm gonna put uh, a little extra layer at the end. I wanna show you how you can use an eyeshadow. If you wanna keep it simple, uh, there are a lot of options with um, creamy eyeshadows. They're just very, very fast. You can use your finger with them. This is um, like a light contour. And if you just use your fingertip a little bit and you kind of press uh, against the brow bone, so you can just put it a little bit in there blend it a little in a little out and you know sculpt your eye and be done the colors your choice those tend to come also in pens like that um very very easy to use so you can see um how quickly that works again when you press against the brow bone you can bring it a little more in if you want. If your eyes are dip set, just keep it on the outside. So pretty much from the middle to the end and just fade it up. You can use a brush, whatever you like. And add a little more in there. It's always darker on the outside corner. So again, you don't have to continue, but um, a little bit of shimmer in the middle enhances a lot. It complements your eyeliner if you do a little more eyeliner. So I'm just gonna use one of my shimmery eyeshadows here from Smashbox. Uh, I'm combining this beautiful, like an orangey gold with a little bit of champagne. It has a little color. It looks so pretty. We already have a little bit of pigment on the lid, so it looks better. You don't want to put shimmer directly on the skin because it tends to crease. And not only that, it's just not very intense. I tend to use shimmer on top of matte um, for more impact. And uh, under the brow, you really don't want to do it all the way because it might make your brow bone a little more prominent as mine or naturally. So I'll just do a little bit of the lighter shimmer just under the arch. That's it. No more. No more than that. And uh, most of us don't have a gorgeous model face, so we just want to do a little bit and not change the way we look. Um, again, social media shows are way too much makeup and nobody really has the skill and the time and nobody really needs to look like that um, on a daily basis. So I want to create a little more dimension. I want to show you how you can enhance this makeup and do a little more. If you um, want to do a color that will just even out everything uh, before you put your contour, even after you put your con contour. I don't, I don't stay into the rules. Like I don't, I don't follow rules. Um, but in general, it's easy to do a little bit of lighter color and then dark on top. But if you want to unify and put like one color all over, I'm going to use a bright color just to show, so it shows um, nicely. And I already wear a bright uh, sweater, so that really helps. It's kind of like putting it everywhere. And uh, again, your contour could be before or after, but this one makes everything just a little bit more um, unified. Let me show you what color I used. Just something like that, so it shows nicely. If you want to uh, make it a little warmer, a little more natural or neutral, a little bit like a reddish brown or browner, or sometimes you can go for the purples. Mix the colors before you apply it on your skin. Uh, you can always mix two colors together before you apply it, so you create your, your own desired shade. Just putting it everywhere. I like to like really, really blend it into that primer so it kind of it's sealed in. And if you don't overwhelm the actual skin crease in there and you just kind of go right above it under the brow bone uh, you, where you want the intensity, you actually risk less to, to have that crease um, at the end of the day. So let's continue with the eyeliner. You can use a gel when you're if you're more skilled in it i find that it takes a little longer i like to mix the gel with uh, mixing medium which is uh, something that keeps the liner a little bit longer or if your eyeliner it's a little dry will make it just a little creamier it all depends on your skin um, it could be a little drier or just a little more mature hard to work with but i find Pencils, again, are very, very easy and simple. Um, like if I go over with a pencil, this will intensify it, will, you know, will act, uh, act, 
add that extra layer that will keep it on longer. I tend to go with the very, very strong liquid eyeliner. This one, it's just a liquid waterproof matte formula I've been uh, trying lately from Milani Makeup. And again, you always want to do the outside first. If you look at the lash line on the bottom, how it goes a little up, this is kind of like the direction that you want to go with your wing. If you're going to do a wing, you can do it as short or as long as you like or your eye shape allows. You can always start from the outside in. Again, angle your brush rather than trying to hold it like that. You'll never get a liner like that. And then when you apply the rest of the eyelid, you kind of want to do either short strokes or just lay that brush, lay it on the lashes and roll it. It just it really, really helps. Little by little, you can do it as much as you want uh, on the inside. It's, it's not right or wrong. It really, sorry, I've been talking and kind of messed it up by accident. Didn't want to. So I'm just going to make it a little thicker instead. But uh, again, if you don't have time for an eyeliner, just skip that part. You can always add it later. Keep um, a makeup on the go, always with you with two, three products that you might need. And also at home, don't keep all of your makeup in one place. Just keep your main products in a separate set. Trust me, that saves so much time. I want you to fall in love with doing your makeup uh, all over again. Sorry about that, my mirror is just a little distant in there. So if my liner doesn't end up perfect, I'm not gonna waste time on fixing it now. It's too late, it's dry anyway. So to balance the bottom, you really don't wanna do darker on the bottom because it's gonna drag your eyes down, it's gonna give you a set eye look. But if you are a fan of applying liner on the bottom, what I suggest is to use um, a liner on the top waterline and for that, it's good to dry a little bit the waterline and then use a waterproof liner. You can hold your skin if you want. You don't have to stop blinking and just do it a little bit there on the lash line. And you can put an extra layer after the first one it's dry. Uh, this looks great when you don't have a top liner. If you have a, a stronger liner, if you want your lashes to look a little longer, um, if you have a light color eyeliner but you still want you know your eyes to stand out it makes a very very big difference um, you can see it on a lot of celebrities and then um, the bottom liner like I said it's better to be a little lighter and then depending on the shape of your eye my eyes tend to come a little down on the ends and not that I don't I dislike that but for example I'll show you instead of applying the liner outside, you can apply it inside. And um, use a brush to actually lift the outside corner just by applying the light color. And there could be pencil, could be eyeshadow, could be cream eyeshadow, but this way, we're just gonna blend that color a little bit out this way but you can see that dark corner comes down here and then it lifts up the outside a little more mm -hmm. rather than doing it the opposite i'll show you on this side it makes that part of the uh lower lid you know hanging down a little bit more it's all about personal choice you can do it all the way you can do just the outside or just the inside and also when you do your makeup um, you usually don't sit comfortably you're usually leaning towards a mirror and um, it's never like comfortable enough but my point is also you need to see your whole face from a distance in a big light um, in a big mirror with diffused light so you can see um, the effect of the makeup so for um, a little extra smoky I'm just gonna go for my smoky palette and um, this one just happens to be very, very nice with silver and gray in it. And to use, um, to apply the pigment a little 
more dense, you need more denser brush rather than a fluff brush like that that we used for the previous color. So the shorter the bristle, the denser the, the, denser the brush and the more dense brush will apply more pigment. So I just kind of gonna follow the line and I'm gonna try to blend into the contour. And you can intensify that as much as you want. So now obviously we are gonna need a little bit of that on the bottom. I'm just gonna use a smaller head brush. Something like that, also firm. Believe me, when we add the mascara and the concealer, everything will, uh, will be so much better. And just because I demonstrated the dark on the outside corner and this one on the inside corner, I want to actually even it out and put the color everywhere. So this makeup tend to be very, very heavy. Always do a little bit and then add more to it. If you have too many layers, you're not gonna be able to get intensity. But if you also wanna lighten it a little bit, just use your lighter brush and fade the color into that light color we started with. It's not about pressing, it's really just about blending, go in every direction. Uh, everybody's skin is different. Mine just tends to kind of move a little bit too much. So softer brush really, really helps. And um, a little bit of lighter in the middle, looks beautiful. So this one, it's very, very silvery and shiny, but I like the lightness of this one. I just wouldn't like it to be so, so light. So I'm just gonna mix those two together to get like a nice intensity in there. I believe it looks very, very pretty. And um, you can go over the liner if you want it a little thicker, if you didn't do a strong liner. Finish with mascara for more experienced people. Lashes are definitely recommended. I'm using a double-sided mascara. It's not a primer, it's just a mascara it has a very very small brush that catches all the little guys so um i like to do a layer of drier mascara or in this case a smaller mascara before i put you know my newer mascara on and my fresher lengthening mascara on top so much better this coat dries already while I'm working on the second eye. So you come back and you already have the first layer dry. It's so easy to build a second one. This brush, it's curved, so it really pushes my lashes up and it curls as I apply. If your mascara ends on your eyelids, just keep your chin up looking in the mirror. Apply it this way, it's much easier. You can apply it on top if you like. You can use the tip of the mascara with the most pigment and just build a little bit. It's really up to your liking. A lot of you have problems with the mascara smearing on the bottom. So instead of putting it actually on the bottom, just put it on top and keep blinking. So you stomp your lower lashes, they show enough, but um, you don't have too, too much pigment that um, when you close your eye, your lashes touch, it, touch the skin. And if it's moist, of course it will, um, it will, smudge in there so i'm gonna use one of my just like a light pigmented instead of powder my light pigmented eyeshadows and just put it in there to make sure that nothing really runs you can use a little bit of um, primer before that if you want but this really really helps it has the pigment so it acts like a little bit of concealer so you don't have those creases when you wear heavy makeup so um, I think I showed a lot of things in this video. I made a lot of other videos. I'm getting better um, as the time goes on. So I would love your comments. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but um, I'll keep making small videos without editing so you can see full time uh, from, the, from the beginning to the end. And I'll, I'll make another video for foundation. So I hope um, that helped you today. Thank you for watching.